When I was a kid, I had seven movies that I would watch in constant rotation. The Star Wars trilogy, Robin Hood, Sword in the Stone, Sleeping Beauty, and Mulan? Man, this was a surprise. You know, this episode was supposed to be on Transmorphers, but then, as if it was a gift from the heavens, this 50 minutes of my life that I'll never get back dropped in front of me. Mulan, as you probably guessed it, is a blatant ripoff of the 1998 summer hit, Mulan. Produced by the Australian company Burbank Studios, Mulan, yes, that's how they pronounce it in the movie, is a take on the Chinese legend of the woman who disguised herself as a man to fight in her father's place in the Chinese army. Like Video Banquero, Burbank Studios follows the admiral hobby of milking off the fame of blockbuster animated films to make their living. Unlike Video Banquero, Burbank Studios seem to make some sort of effort in their products. <sighs> And the famous General Hua has fallen. <laughs> Some, like most cheap ripoffs, Mu Lan suffers from the huge problem of focus and pacing. It also happens to be kind of racist, but in the funny way. Father's horse. The accents in this movie are so bad, it's like a mix of Australian and fake Asian. Because it is! And don't even get me started on the enemy general. I mean, look at him! It's like someone in the art department was told, hey, we need a Asian bad guy general. Hmm. Well, alright. Well, buck teeth, fat, short nose, and stupid. Bam! I mean, how the hell do you go from this badass to this? He will be quaking in his silk slippers by now. Waiting for my final attack. So when it comes to the story, the movie pretty much follows its Disney counterpart. The Huns invade China. Mulan's father is too old to fight. Mulan disguises herself as a soldier. And Mulan becomes a war hero. But after this, this is when things get kind of interesting. For some reason, no one ever discovers that Mulan's a woman. Which is the key fucking conflict of the story. I mean, come on, they even do the whole dress up scene that they do in the Disney movie. And in the Disney movie, she's already discovered in that scene. I'm almost certain that this key plot point was forgotten by Burbank Studios. Because you wanna know how they resolve it? With one freaking line at the end of the movie. So after being war heroes and saving China, Mulan and her friends, I don't know, they might, become more, start heading home to their villages. And then at this point, her boy toy, I guess, is like, oh, I'm gonna find a woman. What about you, Mulan? And this. Find a wife. Will you too find a wife, Mulan? No, Liu Gang. I will find a husband. What? You? No. Yes, I am a girl, Liu Gang. And the best part about this, this is literally the last minute of the movie. So they go this entire movie without discovering that she's a woman, and then they're like, oh crap, how do we finish the movie? Let's just end it without telling anything. Because this is literally what the movie is. A cheap knockoff that doesn't tell you anything new about Mulan. In fact, it tells you less than the Disney movie did. Now, I might sound really, really irritated right now, and that's because I freaking love Mulan. It's one of my favorite Disney movies ever produced. It's colorful, there's awesome action scenes, it's funny, the music's amazing, and I mean, come on, like, who doesn't love cricket? But you see, I'm not mad that they made a cheap knockoff of Mulan. I'm just mad that they just didn't really care and they just made 40 minutes of nonsense. You know, you can make a ripoff movie and make it awesome. There's plenty of people who've done it before. I mean, look at ants! It's literally a knockoff of Bugs Life. 
But unlike Video Banqueto, I'm not going to say that you guys shouldn't watch Burbank Studio movies because they're complete cheap knockoffs. Because to the studio's credit, not all of their films are complete knockoffs of awesome Disney movies. Just 90% of them. Which means that Burbank Studios has some sort of heart and they don't just care about money. They only mainly care about money. So next time you want to waste 40 minutes of your life and you want to watch something that's racist and poorly made, thank our Australian friends for Burbank Studios because they got you covered. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Hey, we finally did it. Ah, I finally made one. Sorry guys. Uh, if you guys have been subscribed for the past month and a half and you're like, oh, does this fucker even make videos? Well, I do. Um, yeah, I've been busy with school and shit and work, so... Yeah, I'm not even gonna say when the next one's coming out. Um, we got more content over here if this is your first video of mine. Uh, and if you liked what you watched, subscribe for more, yeah. Um, not sure when the next one will come out. I'm planning within the month, maybe even next week if I'm fast enough. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And subscribe and I'll see you later. Goodbye.